children today, though. You, no, well, they say you can't. You know what I mean? I say, I mean, I say like I say, it's an old school technique and it works. You know what I mean? You don't, I mean, you don't have to be, look, I always, when I whipped them, no, I always was on the leg or the butt. Mm-hmm. No face and, you know, yeah. I didn't beat them and do stuff, make them bleed, none of that. They got, them, they got, they got sometimes I count them off. All right, I tell them, you get bent over, yo, you know what? You get, you getting five shots. Okay. Five good ones. <laughs> so prepare your mind. They hate that. But you know what it is? When you, when you got, I, yo, I, listen, I, sometimes, yo, I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I yo, if we take, we, miss, we, we can take, we take, we take some messages, it, it'll go viral. Cause yo, some of them, yo, you know, kids get ready to get it. I was late waiting. They, they want to tell you everything. Stuff that happened three years ago they did. Let me tell you the truth. Wait a minute. Wait. I'm gonna tell you what we did. No, we, we did that. You made them did this last year. Yo, I'm going, no, you get, no. no they they want to explain and talk. Yo, Listen, they got to bend over, they got to pull their pants back, I mean, pull their pants down, and the butt come out, and that leather is looking at them. Okay. <laughs> they, ain't to, they ain't trying to hear that. You know what I mean? I'm swinging like, I'm swinging like Willie Mays. Uh-huh. You know, like Bay Roof. I'm not, I'm not, ta- I'm, I'm, I'm lining up. Lining up, boy. Ah! Yo, listen, and they got five of them coming. So, everybody's trying to talk. You hear, ah, 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 ah. And they camera on each other. All these other big time. Okay. So, I'm going to pull me in the room in private. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, don't worry, I'm gonna, come in here, come in here. Yo, he won't really drop a dime on him. So I, and I'm like, oh, really? Okay. What? Okay. So that's, but you know, it went, yo, and yo, you see your level now? That's what I did. I could, I, you know, I was gonna beat the ass. I, I laughed. <laughs> I laughed so hard. I said, you know what? People won't believe this stuff. They won't believe this. Not this. Yo, yo. But they, you know, they actually did it. They did it. It's a deserve. Listen, then sometimes you tell I did. Sometimes it was the very, I make him get on point, go stand in the corner at the wall. You know, kids don't like to be still. No, they don't. When you, when you put a kid in the corner and you make him get on point, and he can't move, he got to look at that damn wall, don't turn around, don't do nothing. You leave him there for half an hour, 45 minutes, he go crazy. And yeah, but he will do, he, he don't want that no more. So he gonna straighten up. He gonna straighten up. That's, that, that's without hitting him. Gotta, sometimes when I had to hit him, because they did something wild, they did something crazy. Discipline had to come in. But a lot of times, that's what I would do, push-ups, Get on point, look at the wall. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Oh, I make him do exercise. Okay, what kind of exercise? Man, listen, you gotta run off, you gotta run off 100 jumping jacks. Okay. Run 100, give me 100. You know what I mean? Then right behind that, give me 30 push ups. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. And then, uh, I, I, then you, the thing they hate to hate, you take a kid and you don't put them on their hands, you put them on their knuckles. Uh-huh. And, make them, and then make them hold their weight for uh-huh. five minutes. They can't, they be, they be trembling. Oh, wait, they be crying, they be crying, they be crying, they, cry. they gonna cry like hell. But they gotta, and then you got the bull whip. So they know if anything goes down, they will pop back up. So what if they say something like, well, you know, I'm gonna t- tell the authorities that you hit me because today the, the kids can use that. Well, I tell them, yo, you know what? Be my guest. Mm-hmm. Be my guest. Because listen, listen, these kids right here, <laughs> Cosmo took them. When it came for me, when I told you, listen, kids will threaten you, whatever, they will use whatever the message they got to make you, you know, stop what you're doing. But if it's, I know one thing, it was the correct thing, and they are kids, and I was correcting them. And I was, you know, being, listen, I gotta let them do what they want to do, but then you know what? A lot of things would happen. They How did you raise they, your daughter, sir? I had one, what? one. Okay, how well, she wasn't you? really around me. Okay. I got her later on. Okay. Because, you know, she, her mother told her some stuff that when, when she seen me, she started running. If it was that simple. Uh-huh. First time I seen my daughter, she was 13, 14, and she seen me, I told her, come here. Uh-huh. And she looked at me, she, I thought she was on the track team. Uh-huh. Yo, she ran. She took off. She ran like hell. How, I said, important are, how, how important are fathers to their daughters? Oh, the father to the daughter is very important. Daughters love their father. Uh-huh. Trust me, this is, like, this is like sons love their mother. Uh-huh. You got sons, don't mess with my mother. Uh-huh. They, you know, they don't, we don't play that. And like, like daughters, the same thing about their, their father. Don't mess with their father. You know what I mean? But it's a different type of discipline with a female. You know, you can't do all that beating and all that did it. Uh-huh. Females, you, you got you gotta you gotta more you gotta talk to them. You know, but sometimes you gotta talk to them stern, harsh. Uh-huh. Let them know this is this is the cold fact and this is what's gonna happen. You wanna do that, this is what's gonna happen. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? You know, and if, you know, so you, you do, know do you tell them about men? Do you tell them about how, how men think, what men will say? You well, know? you know what? I can tell you better than that. Zab got the girls, I got the boys. The girls, so that, you can tell Zach and tell you about the girls. Okay, what do you tell me? How old are the girls at? I got, I got four girls. Four girls, and how, what are their ages? Um, my oldest is 25. 25? Mm-hmm. How do they, I mean, 
you look 25, so that's why. Right. I, I mean, that's I mean, good, that's he's good. A beautiful, right. He's a beautiful right. child. You make beautiful children, Papa. So, so now tell me how you're raising your girls. Do you have um, boys at all? Yeah, uh -huh. I, got, I, I, got a, I got an even number. Even number, four, four, four. four, four, four. four. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. and how old are the boys? What's the oldest boy? Uh, my, my oldest boy now is 23. He's 23. Okay, so tell me, wh what were the challenges you had? I mean, and what did you learn from your father? Um, see, for me, it was a little different. I was a young parent. Mm -hmm. I, I, I had a child at the age of 15 years old. That's why I keep that bull whip. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? You what you? did you think about that? That he's fathering <laughs> a Listen, child. Listen, I didn't really, I didn't find out for a while though. Okay. But, but I found out, I was on. Well, you didn't you teach your sons about uh, suit yeah, but listen, they know how to slide through windows and go over rooftops and stuff. You know what I mean? When you sleep, you go. I gotta work every day. Okay. I go to sleep, they start playing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, I mean, you can't listen. You can't sometimes. You can't keep up with them. You 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 think you can, but. So what was it like having a child at 15 years old? Oh, Sam? It was different. I mean, I, I you know I really at the time when a, you know when a child came, I was living in North Carolina with my mom, and um. Because of having my child, my mom was very mad at me. She said, "You gotta get out of here now. You gotta get out." Of here. So I had to go. I was, I had to come live in New York with my dad. And okay. I came to live in New York with my dad at the age of 15 years old. And no, I was 14. 14. I was 14. Yeah, yeah I was 14. It was right before the baby came, so it was so on. So, so actually, when my child was born, I was in New York, and she was born in North Carolina. Uh -huh. So it was like, "You got a kid." I'm like, "A kid? Okay, cool." And oh, but, it was cool? No, 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 no. Oh. So I was like, okay, cool. Okay. And then it was calling me like, well, we need pampers and milk. And I'm like, well, where do you get that from? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> what the hell you want me to do? I'm, 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 I live at my dad's house. I'm, like, I'm waiting for dinner to get ready. Like, <laughs> like I don't know. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? So it's like, you know, it was a, I was a child having a child, but... Not really not understanding what was what going the on. Responsibility yeah, what the responsibility was, you know, just getting the phone calls. And after a while, I started being rebellious and like, 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 hello, it's my old chicken pot rice. Like, oh. you know, oh, you were acting <laughs> like they had the wrong number. <laughs> yeah. So, so wait a minute. How did that did that straighten itself? How did you get? Oh, did, did you get married after? No, 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 no. no, no. So I was already accepting. Acknowledging and accepting my child was born. I was accepting that. I was all you accepted it. It's but I wasn't living in North Carolina. So when it was calling with this responsibility situations, I was like, you know, because I didn't have, I was living with my dad. I was living in the attic in my dad's house, like with the rest of my brothers. So they wow. called the phone, like, yo, we need. We need money, and I'm like, you need money, me too. Like, oh, 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 <laughs> I'm like, me too. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you know, I'm like, me too. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, you know, just uh, one thing led to the next. You know what I'm saying? And you know, with the with the sport of with the skill and the sport of boxing, my dad put me to the gym. Okay. And I started, I started, uh, you know, you know, people don't understand. I had a lot on my shoulders going into the Golden Gloves. My first year, you know what I'm saying. I I had already already had a child, you know what I'm saying. This this my first year Golden Gloves. I'm trying to prove something. Then then I was young. I was you know I was also younger than it was the year to go into the Golden Gloves. So my You're dad. 16. He was 16. Yeah. This no, 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 no. I was 15. Yeah, you right, right. I'm 16. About 17. So my dad had to alter my paperwork. Paperwork, you know right? What I'm saying and do a bunch of stuff. So I had to keep that stuff. You know, under you know, like, and he like, okay, you, you know, what I'm saying, you see me, I had to go do this and do that and do this and do that and make sure that you go ahead and win. It. And he tell you, I went in and won it. So you, when did you started training him once he came home with you, right? No, yeah. I was already. You you already trained. We started from from five years old. Oh, you started training. He said he was back. He went, yeah, he, he yeah. come back to New York for a while, but then he go back. We, was, no, we were living in New York. We didn't right, go to there, right, I didn't right. go to North Carolina until living in Brownsville. Like so years. so was he the only son that was really no. interested in boxing no. at that no. time? You made all of your sons. He he no. was, all my sons with me. Zach wasn't living with me then, but all the rest of them were with me, and I was training them. He came later on. He came like when he was fourteen years old. But he was back and forth. He was back and forth. He was right. like, you know, but you know, and then he, then I was training. And then he was that fourteen. He was six years old, six, seven, eight. He won. He won fights. He won tournaments. He already won. He had trophies. All that. Day, so you know? he was more the natural, or what? Or no. where, what about the other brothers? No, he no no he no he was more 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 just more 
zestful. No, nah, I wasn't. Yo. My, my other brother Look, was out. No, my three o'clock in the morning, first. he be training okay. and they be sleep. Okay. Just put it like that. Uh-huh. All right, that's how it goes. So he was li- you lived for it. Yeah. You, you wanted, that's uh, what you wanted. I, I wanted it. You just, wanted it bad. Yeah. Just, like, I used to go outside and fight and do all kinds of stuff. And I just knew that there was, like, like, like from my outside fights, he showed me how to be on the inside. Like, there was nobody that could beat me outside. Like, all the guys go, like, he too fast. Okay. And he punched really hard, you know what I'm saying? Like I was knocking out grown men and stuff like that. So this so so this so they all Well what what were your brothers were? How good were they then? Or did they went on to other, t- other No, they there? were boxing. They, they were all boxing, boxing everybody. We were all boxing. winning. We we were winning back to back. And what was the Judah brothers? What happened to the money? How did y'all div- divvy that up then? Well as a kid, I mean as an amateur you don't make money. Okay, you don't make you money. You don't make no money. So, so remember I got the I got the child now. Mm-hmm. And box I'm I'm doing boxing which is Almost like charity work. Yeah, okay, <laughs> yeah. right. So the yeah. baby boy, are you send, when are you sending money home to the girl? How is she feeling about it? Or? I mean, we was getting, I was getting, you know, support and stuff to my father. My father was, you know what I'm saying, giving me money to send back and stuff like that. But as far as me making money, no, I, I, I didn't have a, I, I wasn't making no money. Dad, what were you doing? What kind of work did you have? Construction. Cause, uh, oh, okay, so that's good money uh, yeah. also. But when you have time to go into the gym, tell me when you started working with the children outside of your family, you know, uh, bo- teaching them boxing. Because discipline is so important right now. That's one thing I think we don't have. And, and even our kids can threaten us today that if you hit me, I'm going to call the police. And those kinds of things are going on. But you were saying there are other ways of punishing them. Yeah, there's other ways to deal with them, too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I mean that, to me, that's, that's so, I mean, Hey kid, come from you. You had the kid. The kid is your kid, and he gonna tell him about tell him lock him, getting you locked up. I look like you. What well, you got it backwards? Mm-hmm. I tell him I used to look at them go. But my my kids didn't do it. They never. None of them did it. I think they they knew. You know, that that there was no no. They knew better anyway. You know. And like I said, now I have one kid. One of them, one of my sons said that there. Drew and you on you know we are yeah, but he he said it. And he, he said oh. He, he ain't gonna yeah. He said he gonna yeah. He gonna lock me up. Okay. And you took him to sleep for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He took a quick little, little, little short nap, and then he, you know, we got up, and then when he got up, he was his whole story changed. Yeah, he, he said demons was talking to him. <laughs> so okay, so now when Zach started having children, no, that wasn't me though. No, no that wasn't no, that. No, I know it wasn't. No, my mother's son. I'm going back and forth. I'm sorry because I'm trying to get you. This. The exchange between the father and son is very important to me for them to see that. Yeah. For my, um, I, I'm all about black men. The women have to see it too because I want to know how do you raise these girls today because our children today see everything and can practically do everything. And one of the things that they're being shown, especially for little girls, you, you have girls. Four. Four. So... They, you know, like your body is what you put out there first, mm-hmm. not your mind. Or so, what do you say to your daughters? How do you raise your daughters today so that you help them avoid any kind of um, life failures? On uh, me, disappointments. Uh, like all my friends that be around me with my children and my girls, and, and they see like I'm, I'm straightforward with my girls. Mm-hmm. What does that mean? Tell me what straightforward is. Straightforward Give me the is just <laughs> telling them like, like, like yeah, I got dirtbag friends. You know what I'm saying? They come around, they got crazy conversations and things like that and when my daughter's around and leave out I'm looking like, I look back at them like don't bring me one of those though mm. you know what I'm saying don't bring one of those girls home no, or don't, don't bring no babies home no friend? don't bring me one of those like 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 for instance if one of my friends jump in the car like I got a lot of friends that you know they just say what they want do what they want act away you know what I'm saying I look back at my daughter like don't bring me one of those home Oh, I see what you're saying. Right, tell, oh, you know, don't like, want yeah. your friends yeah, talking like that. Don't even, don't, don't, don't try it. You okay. Know? Don't, like, like they know, like they don't even hang around people like that and things like that. So, is it good to have kids? Um, what does boxing do to teach children boxing? What are, What are the advantages of that? You know, discipline. It's okay. Tell Confidence. Uh-huh. Uh, you, you just you you you, you do you, you, you got a bigger heart. You know, you look. It's like anything else. Well, you know how to protect yourself. Uh-huh. You know that block that you normally that you wouldn't walk down. You know, not that you going to, but but when you know how, we really know how to fight. The boxing makes you humble. Mm-hmm. Put that number one. You, you you humble because you know why? It's like me. You really you know like I look at some guys sometimes uh, when I was younger. And, you know, like when I I mean I, I'm a I'm a like I'm a fighting machine. You know what I mean? So that's that's what I do. 
You know what I'm saying? But I send them, I look at guys, and I, and I warn them. I tell them, you know, I let guys know, listen, man, we, we don't, let's don't do this. You know what I mean? Let's don't get into it. And even though they might be saying, oh, I do this, do that. I, you know, I was younger. And I said, nah, man, listen. I, and I really try to talk myself out of, out of, you know, out of the fight. And I guess at that time. You I'm know talk, how to talk yourself out of the fight. I would try to. But, they, they, but to them, they thought I was scared because mm-hmm. I'm trying to talk. But I'm just really, you don't know. I'm really saving you. Because you, know I mean? you don't really know what I know, what I you know, what I'm about to you know do my do my thing. And some guys went for it, other guys didn't. You know what I mean? And whoever the guys that didn't, they found out. The, but did, did they did they pick on you because they thought you were short or that they could take? You I was little. I was I was yeah, yeah I was little. I wasn't a big you know I wasn't a big you know big you know muscle guy little but you know but I was little but I was very dangerous. I knew I was dangerous. You know so. When when Dab is raising his children, what kind of advice are you giving to him for his kids? What are you telling him? To I say? always tell him the right thing. Just take care of him. Take care of him and love him. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I mean. But you got to, like I told him, you got to discipline him. You know what I mean? No kids should talk, tell their mother to get out their face. Or oh, I don't want to hear what you got to say. Mm-hmm. See all that, all that, all that talk like that for your kid coming to you. You doing something wrong. Mm-hmm. And they ain't never supposed to do that. You told me to do something. Sometimes they might question why I gotta do that. And you let them know. This is why you gotta do this here. This is for this. But you know, I'm talking about that little sassy kid. I ain't gotta listen to you. I ain't got who you know. No, you can't. That's that's not good. You have to uh, teach your, your daughter's uh, consequences. Uh, do you do you talk to I'm your doing, daughters I'm doing about what it was right like here. when you yeah. had a child that early right. and what what that right, meant to oh, you? Yeah. And, and oh yeah. Oh yeah. So my daughter, because of that, you know what I'm saying. She, the one that was born young, she know the story and everything like that. She went to high school, went to college before she had before she had a child. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Good. So, so they do all the girls are all doing all right. Uh, oh yeah. All, well, all I just mm-hmm. I just had well I got two so two so far out. My older daughter, she's out of high school. I mean she's finished um, high school, went to went to college. Now she does nursing. My next she's daughter, my next daughter, name is Destiny. Mm-hmm. Which is she just finished high school and she just went to the army last week. Oh, wonderful! Yeah, yeah that's so it. she's in boot camp right now as you speak. Where? What's what camp? She's in Fort Jackson. Fort Jackson. Yeah. Where is that in, 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 in South Carolina? Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, so she's in Fort Jackson right now. It's rough. And then I it got is? my other daughter next year. She's she's a great a, a, a great student. Titi, uh, she's going to the military too. Are you asking them to go to the military? No, or they no, just want no, to go. They, they want the discipline, or what no, is that? They want to. They want to go to a point. You know what I'm saying? For they, for they say that college pays for their college. I mean, uh, the, 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 the army, army pays, pays, pays for their college. college. You know what I mean? So they say they can go anywhere they want to go. Um, they just they just want to do it. Okay. What about the boys? Uh, they young. Okay. They they're what like. Uh, so Three, four, or five. My, uh, well, well, Nas is older. My, my twenty, my twenty-three year old. He's, he, he, he's just chill. Uh-huh. He's just chill. He chill. He work regular. He lives in West Palm Beach. And and then my ten year old, and then my, tw- and then I got twenty. You had twenty. They, they so what do you tell the boys about when they're with different girls? You know, what? Do, how do you protect your sons? What well, Zab and, and my twins, I haven't had the girls talk yet, but my uh, other son Nas. He has a child, uh-huh. and he's um he's twenty two. He's twenty two. Twenty three. Now twenty three. He's on twenty four. Yeah. Now, so um, I I, I appreciate you all sharing this with me because yeah. this is going to be so important um uh, for for what my podcast is about. It's about how do we get our our community better. We're going to have to really bundle and and help one another in all ways all ways possible because so much has been done to us and we don't under a lot of our children don't understand what was done to us when they would ship brought in all if you watch snowfall the move that the the tv show you see how they brought in all the drugs and had us we supported a war a uh, illegal war in nicaragua by buying all those drugs by them you know selling us drugs and so our community became so sick and then they pushed the men out of the house. I don't think a lot of other younger people know that. A, to dependent our children. Do you remember that, Papa? Where, yeah. where if the man didn't marry the woman, he could not be with his children Good in news, the home. Yeah, right. yeah that, right. that movie Claudine tells you that. So that gives, what well, the fuck is that? Yeah. yeah. So that gives the woman, she gets a check from the government and government cheese. <laughs> and so now she's got the power. That's the husband. 
Yes, the government is her, her husband. husband at that time. Right and so he can't be in the house. He's got to sneak to be in the house because the governor said you can't be there. So now you got a female raised, an emotional oh, person raising yeah. boys or girls. You understand what I'm saying? Because she's the only one that has any dominion over her household. The other thing that it did was it allowed the man to go and have several households. He can move from household to household and father children, and then he didn't have to be the one responsible for it. That, devast that devastated our community. And we got to understand that that happened. And so with the, with the drugs, and I, I, I came back from Europe. I was in Europe nine years. I couldn't, when I went to Europe, black men would go, go out Why did you go out there? And my husband um, married, and he went and got his, uh, my husband married. He went to get his doctor from the University of Stockholm. You was married. You was married. Then. I was I married. I was married forty six years. And oh, you went out there with him. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Yeah. And so I, you know, I got my education there and traveled with him because he got, uh, you know, his fellowship to study there. Everything was free in Sweden. This is what I wanted to talk to ASAP Rocky about that because he was locked up, and over there, you know, you don't have poverty. It doesn't exist.